By now, we've all seen the ad. Grandma gets thrown... Oh, we're going to show it again. I don't think oh, we should boy. do this, but nonetheless, we're doing it. Grandma gets thrown off a cliff because of Paul Ryan's budget plan for Medicare. I say it's disgraceful. Republican Congressman Marlon Stutzman is live from Capitol Hill. All right, Congressman, you are a member of Representative Ryan's budget committee. And you're a Republican. You approve of the Ryan plan on Medicare. What do you think about being portrayed as the guy who's throwing granny off a cliff? Stuart, thanks for having me on. First of all, I think it's a, it's a morbid, twisted, and very distasteful ad. It is not representative of the truth at all. And, um, and I think it's, uh, it's not a good part of the conversation that we as Americans need to have right now addressing our entitlements. Yeah, I mean, look, it poisons the debate. It poisons the atmosphere. How can we have a rational debate about Medicare when you've got this kind of incendiary uh, commercial running? Do you think it should be withdrawn? Will it be withdrawn, do you think? I think it should be withdrawn, and I think that Americans should actually see it and see what, it, what uh, some folks are trying to uh, uh, portray as this plan and also as part of the dialogue, because it is not helpful to the dialogue whatsoever. Um, it should be withdrawn. It should have never been made. I, I believe it's even borderline sacrilegious in using uh, an American song in the way that it does. Right. And what, um, happened to the, what happened to the civil discourse that President Obama was calling for after the Gifford shooting? Exactly. And that's what, uh, you know, the Budget Committee had a very deliberate process. Uh, the debt that this country holds right now, I was just back in the district yesterday talking to seniors, and they understand the $14 trillion of debt that this country has, and they realize that something has to be done about entitlements. This is a plan that I believe protects Medicare for the future, for our kids and our grandkids, and it protects uh, America long term, and as well as uh, reducing our debt. Just to be clear, no senior... Uh, in fact, nobody over the age of 55, anybody who is over the age of 55 right now, would not be at all affected by the Ryan plan. Medicare stays as is for anybody who is now 55 or above. Am I correct, sir? Th that's absolutely correct. What we have here is two dynamics. We have an economy that is struggling and is very fragile because of a government that is overspending. And we have the baby boomer generation that's coming into the system. And we're going to go from 40 million beneficiaries to seven, or approximately 75 million beneficiaries. So there's going to be a huge uh, uh, draw on our entitlement programs. And so something has to be done for us to be able to, to protect these programs for the future. We're, we know we're going to have to um, uh, raise the debt over the course of this budget over the next 20 years, but we're going to pay that debt down because of the savings that we're going to create with modifications to the program. This is for simply, uh, the changes would simply be for those who are 54 and below. Uh, last question. You're a Republican. You're from Indiana. Will Mitch yes. Daniels declare? I hope he does. We need uh, Mitch Daniels in Washington. We've had a, um, eight years in a row in Indiana balanced budgets. That's the type of leadership we need in Washington. Oh, Tim Pawlenty, by the way, declares uh, on Monday, I believe. So uh, we'll see where Governor Daniels uh, ends up. All right. Um, Governor, da yeah, go, sir. Governor Daniels has a strong record. Yes, he does indeed. Marlon Stutzman, Republican, Indiana. Thanks for joining us. So appreciate it. Thank you, Stuart. Good to be with you. What is Facebook?